If you work out a lot, your best friend is generally your music playlist. But when you simply set your playlist to random, the music doesn't really match your workout. So I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate workout mix that actually works with you. So ultimate workout mix, what is it that I'm trying to do here? Well everyone knows that music can help make your workout more enjoyable, but if you match your music to your workout where the beats match your intensity, then you can not only enhance your workout, but you can also motivate yourself to do more. According to a plethora of major research scientists, and by that I mean the person that wrote this article, the ideal beats a song should have per minute for a good workout is 120 to 140. Hmm. Beats per minute. How the crap do you find out beats per minute? Excellent question. I'll show you. First, let me say that this video is taken from the awesome life hacker post, How to Create the Ultimate Exercise Playlist, which you can find here. To find the beats per minute for each of your songs, you'll need to download and install a beat analyzer called MixMeister at this website. If you're using a Mac, you can download Tangerine found at the link below. Just point MixMeister to your music folder and it'll start scanning for beats. From here you can sort the songs by BPM or export them to an Excel compatible text file for later use. The only downside to MixMeister is that it's not 100% accurate. It's more like 85 to 90% accurate. So if you want to, you can head over to this website, which allows you to tap out the beats of your song while the song is playing. So whenever you have all of your songs organized by beat, you can sort them out and start adding them to your playlist. You want to start out with songs that have a lower BPM and then build the songs up gradually. For example, if you want to do a 5 minute warm up in your workout, look for a couple songs with a low BPM and then sort the songs by time or duration until you find ones that equal 5 minutes. Um, I uh, don't really listen to just a moving on. If you have a song that you really want on your workout mix but it doesn't have the right beats per minute, there is a way that you can make it faster or slower without making it sound more high pitched or more low pitched. To do this you'll need to download Audacity which I have mentioned before in previous tutorials. Open the song with Audacity, hit Control A on your keyboard to select all of it and then go to Effect Change Tempo. Put the original BPM of the song, which we just found in the first box, and then put the target BPM that you want it to equal in the second box. After you click OK, it will change the tempo of the song. Then you can go to File and Export to save your file. Again, I swear I'm not a Justin Bieber fan. It's not like I take pictures of them and keep them as screensavers on my computer. Anyway, while it doesn't change the pitch, change the tempo too much can make your footage sound really slow and drawn out and awkward. Well, with these tips in mind, hopefully now you can make your ultimate workout playlist. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.